rolling around Old Trafford as Manchester United in the red shirts. What else? Prepare to get this game underway, attacking from left to right. Liverpool tonight in a chain strip of all white. Alex Ferguson and Brian Kidd never seem to trust the timepieces of officials, even one as experienced as tonight's referee, Stephen Lodge. Changes in both teams from their last Premiership matches. And one of them sees the introduction of Phil Neville at right back with his brother Gary moving into the centre of defence for Manchester United. Carragher with the first clearance for Liverpool and an early touch for Peter Schmeichel. Manchester United will be spending £30 million not on new players for Alex Ferguson, but on bringing up the capacity to 67,000 here at Old Trafford over the next three years. It'll then be the biggest club ground in Britain. Scholes to York. On to Solskjaer. Good tackle that was. And in actual fact, the referee had already blown the whistle, I believe, to give Manchester United a free kick for the challenge that took place before that. I'm a little surprised that he didn't allow play to go on as Carragher came in very heavily, certainly, on Scholes. But it seemed to me that Manchester United were in a good possible goal-scoring position then. Carragher yellow-carded. And there could be worse to follow because he proved in the World Cup for England and on Sunday against Arsenal, even though he didn't score, David Beckham, that he is one of the best free-kick takers around. And here he goes again. This one flicked off the wall of Paul Ince for a corner. Not one of his better efforts. But he's still got his side on the attack. Yap Stam has come forward for Beckham's corner kick. Roy Keane in the middle as well. Friedel with a good punch clear this time. Scholes plays it straight back in. Keane. And the effort blocked by Redknapp. David Beckham, good pressure here by Manchester United. McManaman got it clear for Liverpool. Under real pressure at the moment. Paul Scholes, good ball. Dwight York, back it goes to Scholes. Good tackle. McAteer winning the ball. But at the expense of another Manchester United corner. Their third in quick succession here. And with 12 minutes gone, Liverpool feeling the heat. Dwight York got up highest. Played back in by Giggs, Keane on the far post, turns it back in. And the goalkeeper had to make that uh, interception. If he'd allowed that ball to travel, United had men well placed in the centre. Certainly looks happier using his hands than his feet, the big American keeper. Giggs finding a way through. Solskjaer tried to test the goalkeeper and indeed did so. And Friedel has made a very nervy opening here. Solskjaer hit that one almost first time. Giggs headed it back into him. On the half volley. And the goalkeeper really should have made a better job of that. An unnecessary corner conceded. Solskjaer now on the goal line. Stand near the penalty spot. Keane goes into the near post. And the goalkeeper with a very strange punch again. And a claim for handball. And it's been given. McAteer handling the ball under pressure, shakes his head, but it won't matter because referee Lodge has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is. Well, it seemed something of a harsh decision when you see this replay here. He went up, was the, well, I don't know, hard one to call. Certainly there was a movement towards the ball, whether it was involuntary or deliberate. Only he really knows for sure, but anyway, a penalty it is, and Dennis Irwin will take it to give Manchester United the lead, and he's done so! <laughs> 19 minutes gone! Manchester United won, Liverpool nil, Dennis Irwin, the coolest man in the house, sending Friedel the wrong way. And I must say, although the finger of blame will obviously be pointed at Jason McAteer for conceding the penalty, in my opinion, the big goalkeeper, Brad Friedel, 
was really at fault there. Now Ince. Redknapp. Good ball for McManaman. Ince tried the shot. It was a storming challenge from Stamp. Redknapp. And that's got to be a free kick. Foul on Patrick Berger. Well, Liverpool don't really have a David Beckham in their team in the sense of someone who can accurately pepper the goal from this distance. But in Jamie Redknapp, they have a man who's certainly scored some spectacular goals from set pieces down the years. Roy Keane, as ever, has something to say to the referee. And the referee says to him and McManaman, cut it out or you'll both be in the book. He's already yellow carded Jamie Carragher, remember. Schmeichel lines up a one, two, three, four, five man wall in front of him. Patrick Berger, I guess, an option for Liverpool here. But it is Redknapp, and it's excellent. And Schmeichel had to palm it away for a corner. Liverpool's first corner kick of the game. No massive height for Liverpool to look for from these situations. McManaman. Pumped back in towards Jamie Carragher. And now it's the Liverpool players claiming there was a use of a handball there, but referee not impressed this time. David Beckham for Manchester United. They lead 1-0 here. Already more than halfway through the first half. Foul by Giggs, Redknapp reacted. And there's going to be a yellow card for Ryan Giggs. Well, those of you interested in spread betting, I'm quite sure will have reckoned that there'll be a fair few yellow cards tonight. That's two already. There will be more, guaranteed. Fierce rivals, these two. Ince with the free kick. Erwin's clearance went skywards rather than out, keeping United on the back foot for the moment. Stamp hits goals. McManaman beaten by Erwin, now scores. Good play by Manchester United. They've certainly been the most impressive of these two teams. And here goes Ryan Giggs. Oh, almost found Dwight York in the middle. McManaman, Ince. High pressure stuff now, high speed as well. And Liverpool give it away. Redknapp beaten in midfield. Here goes Giggs, and there's been another foul. This time by Ince, and there'll be another yellow card for the Liverpool skipper. And that was the earlier incident uh, where Liverpool were claiming a, a penalty themselves. Ryan Giggs, the alleged offender, Mr Lodge, didn't want to know about that one. Jason McAteer. Oh dear, dear, what's that? He's just gifted it back to Dennis Irwin. Great run by Irwin. Solskjaer with an excellent layoff to Giggs. Giggs whips it in, Beckham on the far post. And that was a great ball back in. Solskjaer, Scholes, all the confident football coming from Manchester United now, but Neville runs into trouble. Gives away a free kick, and Liverpool have taken it instantly. McManaman. And a good ball. Riedler. Took too long. Has a second bite at it. And fails with that as well. And then the challenge from Redknapp will earn him retribution from the referee. Came in late. And it's got to be yellow cardy for that, I think. And uh, discussions going on meantime. Stamm getting himself involved. Ince getting himself involved. Surprise, surprise. 
And at the end of it all, I think it'll be Redknapp who will be carded. Well, I'm sure it will be him, at least. Yes, it is. Patrick Berger. On to Bjornaby. And that's the end of a wonderful first half for Manchester United here at Old Trafford. Dennis Irwin's penalty, the only goal, but really Manchester United were not in total command, of course, but certainly comfortably in control, I think, of a match against their oldest rivals. McAteer's handball here. And the more you see it, the more I'm convinced the referee was right to award a penalty. Irwin slotted it home in his usual cool fashion. Liverpool have had four players yellow carded as their game has not really come together at all in the face of this wonderful flowing football from Manchester United who go off at half-time leading Liverpool by one goal to nil. Liverpool get the second half underway then, remembering their change all-white strip tonight and certainly needing to improve on the quality of their play in and around the Manchester United penalty box. Giggs takes United straight onto the attack and outpaces McAteer. Not a bad cross either. Carragher just uh, nudged it clear of Dwight York. Here's McManaman. To his left is Patrick Berger. And McManaman again. Opens it out for McAteer on Liverpool's right flank. This is Michael Owen. Didn't really have a sniff of goal in that first half, but this looks dangerous. Another excellent tackle. The two times Owen has gone at United's defence, it's Gary Neville who stopped him. Dwight York to Ryan Giggs. Carragher just guarding it back, the 20-year-old who uh, has played in just about every game for Liverpool so far this season. Here's Dwight York for Manchester United. And here's Giggs, and he could make it too, and so could Solskjaer. What an opportunity for Manchester United to increase their lead in only the second minute of the second half. And that has to go down as a miss, for sure. Wonderful play. Giggs, York... Giggs again, and then Solskjaer, almost in the clear. Certainly should have hit the target, I would feel, there. It's a good challenge by Riedler. Stam goes in hard to win it back. And the tackle's flying in again here. Skulls dispossesses Ince. Now Dwight York, given away to Berger. And on to Michael Owen. Liverpool will feel they might get something here. The tackle by Neville corner the outcome Liverpool fans claiming a penalty but never good clean tackle by Phil Neville won the ball first can Liverpool consolidate their good start to the half by getting an equaliser here Set up for the shot by Berger on his right foot. McAteer out to Bjornaby, who inexplicably went backwards then when Liverpool had eight, nine men in the Manchester United half. But the noise you can hear at the moment significantly is from the Liverpool fans who see their team getting on top in terms of possession here. And Manchester United fans a little quiet at the moment. Berger. McManaman. This is McAteer. The cross needs to be good. And it breaks to Patrick Berger. Should really have scored. Miss hit it and gave Schmeichel an easy save. And Patrick Berger, who's been in real good form this season with four goals in uh, the last five games for Liverpool, should have added another then. An hour of the game completed at Old Trafford in this uh, clash of two of the Northern Giants as Solskjaer momentarily found Brad Friedel off his line and tried to beat him from distance. Quick thinking there by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. 
The Norwegian international reacting so well. They've got to work hard now as Makatia crosses. And he could do again. And does. McManaman's miss kick, but it drops to Patrick Berger on his wrong foot. Now he's got it on his right foot. His left, and a mistake by Schmeichel, but it'll be cancelled out by an offside flag. Liverpool thought they'd got a goal back through Karl Heinz Riedler, but they're wrong. And Schmeichel is a very relieved man. You don't often see him make mistakes as basic as this. Berger finally getting it onto his favoured left foot, and that was the moment where Riedler was given offside. What an embarrassment that would have been for Schmeichel if the linesman hadn't come to his rescue there. Now Andy Cole is about to come on for Manchester United. And Liverpool won't be too pleased to see the side of him as he replaces Solskjaer. Because Cole scored twice at Anfield in the 3-1 win last season. He scored three goals in his last three games against Liverpool. Big, big favourite here. Left out of the starting lineup for United's previous five games. But no player in the Premiership last season scored more goals than him. 25 in all competitions. Good tackle by Scholes, or was it? The referee thought not, indeed. I think he's going to produce another card here. Seems a bit harsh. Let's have a look at it from there. Well, it was a full-on tackle. I think he was genuinely trying to win the ball, so that's 4-4 four, four in terms of yellow cards now. Still 1-0 United in terms of goals. Liverpool have a corner. The clock ticks on. 12 minutes to go. Scholes the latest yellow card. Goes in high towards McManaman, who headed it back into the danger area. Giggs can only half get it clear. Dwight York then miss kicks and gets away with it and produces an excellent ball for Andy Cole. Support arriving from Beckham and York. Cole's done well here. York couldn't quite reach it, but still an opportunity and a goal for Paul Scholes. And that should see the points staying at Old Trafford. What a finish by Paul Scholes. Against the run of play, after Liverpool had dominated in long periods in the second half, but it's getting the ball on target that counts, and Paul Scholes rifles home an absolute beauty for his second goal of the season, after a brilliant run by Andy Cole. Joy on the Manchester United bench. And Manchester United lead by two goals to nil with 10 minutes to go and if you are to be regarded as genuine challengers for the league title it's matches like this that you have to if not win certainly not lose it and liverpool will know that andy cole oh what an effort into the side netting i don't think he needs to apologize there Giggs was having a go at him for not crossing but i thought he was fully justified in the shot He's nearly totally justified. Well, to say he's been lively since he come on is an understatement. Point to prove, of course. Seven minutes to go. They're now two goals behind. And McAteer gives it away. Andy Cole, it's a good ball to Giggs, Liverpool being pulled apart now, and Scholes is there again, oh, that was a fine effort, I think momentarily he got caught between two options then, because Dwight York had made a smashing run to his right, he looked up and I think he was thinking of releasing the ball to him, 
went for goal instead and wasn't far off target, was he? What a satisfying night for Alex Ferguson. And really, you have to, I think, understand the rivalry between these two clubs to understand just how much this is going to mean to Manchester United to win this match tonight. For a long, long time now, there's been a real bitter rivalry between these two clubs whose supporters regard each other as the enemy. And Manchester United have routed the enemy tonight. Handshake for Paul Scholes, whose second goal clinched it against the run of play when Liverpool had came back so well in the second half. And Paul Ince, on his return to his old ground, didn't have a good game. Most of the best players tonight were in the red of Manchester United. Dennis Irwin giving them the lead midway through the first half with a penalty kick after Friedel had made a mess of his attempted clearance. McAteer had handled the ball and Irwin had slotted it home 1-0 to Manchester United at that point it got even better in the second half great pullback by Cole the slip allowed Paul's goals to produce a top class finish and Manchester United to take all three points here and move above Liverpool in the Premiership table into third place an excellent performance by Manchester United particularly on the heels of their defeat by three goals to nil against Arsenal at Highbury at the weekend. Any talk of Manchester United not being of championship quality was very premature indeed. The final score at Old Trafford, Manchester United 2, Liverpool 0.